So we're trying to find out who the car was sold to. I think that's why we're here. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Yeah, we'll deal with it. Got them rain. Soaking wet. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm going to miss him. He's looking over to this side. I feel like there might be something there. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Ah, oh, there's so many. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record as long as my arm. Better be careful. Can you stop that thing? Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? He looks pretty mad. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Yeah, so... Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. There's not too much I can do here. I don't think I can persuade him to tell me. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Maybe Ari will help. I don't trust this guy. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. I'd say the latter. Blood? Now why is there blood here? I, I would assume that it's unrelated, but... It's creating a trail. If the blood tracks lead the acid bath. Oh. They've dissolved the body. Breaking Bad style. Wait, where's the acid? Oh, that's where it is. Is there any... Can I, like, get up onto here? I don't think I can actually go, like, inspect the acid bath itself. Tuba chips came. Got it in my pocket. Well, you ain't using it, son. We're gonna get you off that that bullshit. Says fingerprints, probably Mad Jacks. Man, if we had this kind of technology, criminals would be find it very difficult to stay out there. Okay, don't know what that tells us, but well, we're getting the whole the whole story here. Size ten, most likely a visitor. I think the shoe box is a size eleven, if I'm not mistaken. Size thirteen, must be Mad Jack size. Okay, so someone came in with Mad Jack. And did what? Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Oh. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? 
So now we know that Mad Jack is lying to us. Harry, come in. Traces of orchid uh, in the air inside the garage. Interesting. Why else would that be here? Few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks. No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Okay. Not telling us anything new. Guess there's not really anything more to add here. We definitely know that Carl was here. Are we going to go for a second round of questioning and this time probably piss him off and end up getting into a bit of an ultimatum situation? We're probably going to have to try and go into his office or something. probably just some random tracks right I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go in here mad jack again he's gonna come in here and be like what the fuck are you doing okay Nothing else in here. It's not thinking anything. Damn! You got me, officer. I'll come clean. Now that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Yeah, another one of these. Quick time shits. Oh. This is going to be tough. Come on, Agent Norman. Don't shoot him. Enough fucking around. You're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. I've no time to lose, Jack. I want to know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Either we've got to give him some kind of... Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig! Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it! You scare me with the CSI. You ain't got it in you. We've really got to scare him here. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Impress? How? Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 stop, enough. I'm starting to remember some things. Ah, good boy. You, you be cool, uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get in a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. 
We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Go get fucked, man. They're really forcing you to take the trip over here. Oh shit, I accidentally stopped the game. I'm going to lose all of the, the bloody prompts. That's annoying. <laughs> what? Are they letting you dope heads in the FBI now? God bless America. <clears throat> now I'm going to give you a little help with your drug problem, Mr. Fibo. Permanently. You gotta be kidding me, right? It's annoying, my hand's pushed down on the trackpad. Alright, got a wriggle free. Swung mad motherfucker. Alright. Oh, that's that's not what we need to do. We're gonna break free, man. I'm not sure what they want us to do here. Surely honking the horn is not going to help. I keep thinking it might do something different, that's why I'm pressing again, but... Oh wow. <laughs> Skills. Don't know how this is going to work out, but... Whoa. Bro, get the fuck out of there, man. Die too slow. Slow my last charge. Whoa. That was close shave. Again, I don't know if there's a scenario in which I would have been killed there, but I've got to try my best to make it out. Ah, oh, not again. Got to try and deal with them a second time. What? I did it! <laughs> he really is a nutter. Oh, come on, man. He's the fucking Terminator. Oh, shit. Come on, Armin. Do it, son. I think someone's going to get run over in the process. It ain't going to be me. Alright, here it comes. I think this is going to be the finale, yep.
Oh, that's a bad way to go. It's blood gonna ooze. Yeah. Okay, so another situation where the person died, but we still got the information we needed, so I guess that's a win. It's one of these things where people were killing where they're kind of bad guys in society, so I don't feel quite so bad. Think of it as like vigilante work, I guess. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. <laughs> Uh. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Okay, got to cook some eggs. So, we've taken care of babies. We've done some cooking. Play some golf. Any excuse to shoehorn in a little bit more of this motion control stuff. No oil. It's gonna stick to the pan, yo. Yeah? And that's some big ass eggs. Have I? I swear I haven't turned the thing on. Hmm, so this is how you make it. I guess everyone has a slightly different way of doing it. Do I have to get the timing right? <sighs> okay, very exciting stuff. How the hell do I... Is this just going to keep on going? Do I have to switch off? Okay. Egg should be ready by now. I bet she's not out of the shower yet. Yep. Ah, there you go. I took the liberty oh. of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. <laughs> almost. <laughs> What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. Why is he not getting excited about this? Shelby, you start to worry me a little bit. Because he's got. If the killer really used 
a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. I hope we don't. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. I wonder what... His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. I wonder what make of typewriter Shelby's is. I think they found a name. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. Ah. You never give up, do you? Well, I guess the kid that died is in the same age range of all of the victims of the origami killer. So that could be a link. Right, I'm going to kind of have a little break at the moment. Make sure my recording and everything is fine. And uh, I'll return soon to continue more of this. So I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching.